Kyle here for IDJ Now. I'm about to show you the ultimate digital DJ equipment package. This package right here is everything that you need to blast you from CDs into the digital music age. This is the compact digital package. It includes the Denon DNHD2500 media controller, the Denon DNX500 mixer, an illuminated keyboard powered by USB, a sliding keyboard tray, a heavy duty road case, and a powered USB hub to connect all your USB connections. We've invited a product specialist from Denon to come on down and talk about all the cool features that the media controller and the mixer have to offer. Andrew, welcome. Hey Kyle. All right, now tell me about this media controller. What is it? What does it do? Uh, it basically allows you to play back any music source, uh, whether it be a, um, on a hard drive, an iPod, MP3 or Waves, uh, and you could also play CDs back with an optional CD drive. Cool. Is there internal storage or do I have to use external storage? There is a built-in 40 gig hard drive, uh, but you could plug in up to four USB storage devices as well. Four. So iPods, external hard drives, memory sticks? Memory stick, USB stick. Cool. Uh, plus your keyboard. A keyboard also? Yep. All right, great. So I can use the keyboard to search for the tracks? That's right. Keyboard will search for the tracks, and you can search by many different ways, whether it's artist, title, genre, even BPM within a range. Is that what the screen here is for? Yeah, the screen shows actually a lot of information. While you're searching for tracks, it shows your, um, the list of songs, uh, as well as uh, if you hit the ID3 button, it'll give you the details about the song, album, genre, the year it was recorded, as long as that information is in your MP3 tag. Okay, so my USB keyboard, which is included in this package, will allow me to type in any song title or name or artist and search for them using this screen. And this shows all my information about the tracks. That's correct. Then all once right. it's loaded, it tells you what kind of file it is and your time remaining, time elapsed, however you set up the screen. It also gives you an indicator as to where your scratch wheel is for the diehard scratch guys. So what other effects besides scratching does this unit have? It actually has uh, six effects, echo, flanger, filter, controls right on top, break up and reverse on the bottom. It has a loop uh, and two hot starts. Hot starts, what's that? That'll allow you to uh, pick a specific spot of the song and allow you to play back right from that point every time you hit the button. Nice, so you can get creative with your mixing and with all the options of the, the effects and the looping and the scratching. That's right. Cool, cool. Now again, how do I set this up? Once I take it out of the box and install it in my rack, what do I have to do to connect it to a mixer or a computer or, or anything else? What do I do? I just plug in and has standard RCA connections on the side. Just plug them right to any lines of your, any open lines on your mixer. Um, load up your music inside the unit on the internal drive or just plug in your external drive, whether it be an iPod, hard drive, or USB stick. Nice. With this computer that's sitting here, it's not included, but it's optional to use if you have one. Do I need a computer to run this, or can this control a computer? How does that work? You don't need a computer, Kyle. The nice thing about this is it's standalone, but if somebody does want to progress into a, a computer software setup, they can use this as a MIDI controller, and all the functionality of this becomes a controller for the software. And what software can I use? Uh, virtually anything out there, anything that uh, will accept MIDI. It's natively compatible with Serato Scratch Live okay. and some of the other popular software on the market. Very cool. All right, so that's the HD2500. What is the DNX500 mixer? It looks complicated. Tell me about it. Uh, it's actually not very complicated, Kyle, but it does include a, a it is a full-featured mixer. It includes a lot of features that any, any type of DJ would like, whether they're house, hip-hop, mobile, play pop music. Um, it has three band EQ on each line, uh, gain control, and you can call up any line on any fader. That's a big feature because I know other mixers that I've used, you're limited to what lines or what inputs you can use on each fader, but this you can choose any line and any input on each fader. That's correct. Cool. Microphones, how many? There's two, two mic inputs with a simple on off push button, uh, three band EQ and a gain control for each one. And the EQ, that allows you to boost or reduce the, the lows and highs? Right, it acts as a tone control. Uh, if you get a uh, female on the mic, you want to give her a little more low end. Nice. Uh, same if you got a guy, you want to cut the lows a little bit. Cool, cool. And headphones, how's the preamp? Is it uh, good quality? Uh, the, the unit sounds great overall. The headphone jack is right in the front. Uh, it will, um, your, you can do a split, split cue uh, with a pan control. Uh, level control is right here. Um, the salt mixer also includes a booth output that's assignable and a uh, effect loop if you want ex external effects. Nice. Now, one thing you mentioned about the media controller, I want to go back. You mentioned CD players or CDs. I know CD decks aren't included with this controller, so how does this control CDs? Uh, you buy uh, the optional BU4500. It's actually just a CD, two-space CD deck 
which plugs into this, and then you use the source button to select that as a playback device. Now the nice thing about having the CD deck or multiple drives is you could call up any drive or any CD on either side. So you could play a CD on this side, MP3 on this side, seamlessly. Cool. What about playlists? If you're doing a cocktail hour or, or a dinner music set and you don't need to sit there and play track by track, can you let it run on its own? Yeah, the great thing about this is you can use the included software to build playlists or you can build them right in the unit. You can have your dinner music, you can have your pop music top 40, uh, and it'll fade track by track, song to song. Um, without any input from you. Very cool. Well, I like it, Andrew. Thanks for the input. That's the DNHD2500 and the DNX500 mixer. We showed you the Danon DNHD2500 media controller, the Danon DNX500 mixer. Now I'm going to talk about the rest of the features in this package. We have an illuminated USB keyboard, and we use that for typing in the different names and titles for searching through the controller. Also, there's a sliding rack mountable drawer here. It allows you to hold your keyboard there and have it for easy access. Now to connect all these USB items, we have a USB hub. You may ask, what's a USB hub? Well, it plugs into an outlet and allows you to power multiple USB outputs with only taking one USB cable into your controller. So it's a power strip pretty much for all your USB connections. Also, there's a heavy duty road case included in this package. IDJ now put together this entire package enabling you to have this compact, lightweight unit, gets rid of CDs, gets rid of uh, turntables, and allows you to use MP3s, whether on a computer, within the media controller, an iPod, or a hard drive. This heavy-duty road case will keep everything compact and secure, whether you're transporting it in a truck, in a van, or you're carrying it up the stairs or in an elevator. IDJ now put together this compact digital package to make it easy to go from CDs to the digital age of DJing. Either order from our website, call our product specialist, or visit our New York showrooms.